Okay, everyone. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, so I have seen people play this game before. Unfortunately, I have never played this game. I have not seen anyone play this since this first came out almost three years ago. I am planning on going through this for the first time myself, and I don't remember pretty much anything. So, first off, I need to address something. It had me accept some things. Uh, this game is not for those who are easily disturbed or those who are suffering from depression. Uh, this may cause some trigger warnings, so if you are suffering from those conditions and or, and or cannot handle any type of uh, gory or heavy topics, then I suggest to leave this video now. So, without further ado, this is Doki Doki Lurja Club, my first playthrough. And I shall enter my name as Gross Kitty. I am the Gross Kitty, so I shall be Gross Kitty. Hey! I see an annoying girl run toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she totally she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Sayori. <sighs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, gross kitty. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to... Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to the school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Gross Kitty, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori looks a l likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat a neat in a world in a few years because you're not used to it, the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at a at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her, of her head. 
The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over, over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was facing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, <laughs> meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. I would join the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the only... After the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. That's not true about me. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Mom, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kinda told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she, she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. If I remember correctly, Natsuki is the, uh, or is it Natsuki? Uh, she's the Sundere? I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? I don't eat cupcakes. Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being gent generally used for third year classmates uh, classes and activities i can't read sayori full of energy swings open the classroom door everyone the new member is here i told you don't call me a new member eh. i glance around the room welcome to the literature club it's a pleasure meeting you Say sayori always says nice things about you Seriously? You brought a boy? A way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, gross kitty. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Uh, all words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry Natsuki hm. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is the one is one I don't recognize Her small figure makes me sh think she's probably a first year She is also the only uh, also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori You can just ignore her when she gets moody Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smart, smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh... Well, it's nice to meet both of you. 
And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Gross Kitty. Hello. Monica smiles sweetly. Ugh. We don't know each other. Well, we rarely talked. But we were in the same classroom as this classes class last year. You're very talented with your skirt just staying up like that. Just saying. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Yeah. So, having her smile at me genuinely feels a little... Y y you too, Monica. Come sit down, gross kitty. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me and or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. S sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sawyer mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one sp space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like cats. Aww, kitties! I have kitties. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Well, cute. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full. Oh, sorry. Oof, 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 oof. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Have you ever, like, examined a cupcake to take a bite? Just take a bite! Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice she, her sneaking glances in my direction. Sh is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank, thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. But not for y you. No. You! Dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cup tray. You, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Aww. I meant that, you know. Yuri's probably my favorite right now. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider joining the literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. 
Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Well, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I'd pers personally enjoy to make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort starting something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Gross Kitty, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? That is very true, actually. No, I read a lot of books, including manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that be a deep and complex fantasy worlds. Oh, me too. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. I really like. I really think I could have been friends with Yuri if she was real. I really think so. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so res reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a hor I read a horror book once. Or a million times. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri must might as well have been a conversation with a rock. Having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ah, I hate horror. Oh? Why is that? Well, I, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. And never mind. 
That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind, behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called, Don't say it out loud! And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands around her shoulders. Oh, don't do that. I'm not cute! Oh, so me. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? <clears throat> no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet? Confident? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, expose your vulnerabilities, and show even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you could set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Hello? Hello? There we go. Uh. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem for our own, of our own. Then, next time we meet, We'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um. Uh. Yay! Let's do it! Yeah. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of this club. Isn't that right, Gross Kitty? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made an indecision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh. Well, crap. But, but, I'm sorry. I thought, hmm. Gross kitty. Y you all, I I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision with it when it's like this? That is... If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. Actually, I'm terrible at writing poems. I love literature, but I'm terrible at writing poems. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super... I'm not saying that. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring in the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Gross kitty, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> y yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. 
Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Gross Kitty, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always staying after for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monika. Will it really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alrighty, I'm gonna end the video there. Um, I recorded part one and part two in the same session. So if the video just seemed like it cut off, that's why. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more Doki Doki Literature Club in the future and you want to be prepared for a new face cam reveal later this month, hopefully, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Peace off. Whoosh.